Hey everyone, this is Alex or Poly Momotsi, and today I have a new Mail Monday for you. So I have a buddy package that I got from Little Surprises YouTube or Amy, and we actually planned this trade a long time ago. We were supposed to get it to each other, I think around Christmas time, but we were both super late. And oh my gosh, she sent me so much. She sent me this huge box, and everything is so perfectly wrapped and nicely written. And it's just like her last package to me. I think it's like a follow the numbers kind of ordeal. So I can't wait to open it. So these are two letters that she sent with me. And I'll just freeze it for you guys to read. And Amy, you're so sweet. I don't mind waiting for the package you sent so much. And I can already tell that it's filled with a lot of love. And it just makes my package to you does not compare. Okay, so we have to kind of find, um, so I, when I first opened this box, I saw this immediately. This is number two, and if you take off, you can see it's a Picazard. Oh my god, it's so adorable. It's a Pikachu and a Charizard, a Mega Charizard costume. They're so adorable, and in the note says, I remember you made some Pikachu and costume charms, and I thought this plush would be appropriate. Oh my god, it is so appropriate. Thank you. Look at the tag. Number three. So I just changed up the layout of how I wanted to film this, because these charms are so small and cute that I kind of wanted the details to be a little bit more shown. So this is the note that I included. It says, Trainer Alex has been meowchified. And following suit are a bunch of her kitten charms, so... So this one's a s'more Meowchi, and then this one is kind of a half s'more. It's just a marshmallow with a chocolate bar on its head. And then here's a galaxy one. Oh, this one's super cute, because it has a little, like, sparkly, pearly star on top. And then here is... A tiger one and look there's a huge one so this one looks it looks like Mario themed because it has a Mario hat but on the hat it says a little a for my name and then these are so cute she has the cute little oh I forgot what they're actually called but it's like the cute little like chibi octopies that were found and they're so cute and this is a takoyaki themed one. This is so adorable. I love it. This one is number four. Okay, I'm gonna take out everything out of its packaging first. So it says, remaking these Tsum Tsum heads was one of the biggest reasons it took so long to send out. I was too lazy and uncertain with working with big beige clay. And, oh my god, they're so adorable. So she sent me Elsa and Anna Tsum Tsum heads, and they're so cute. I love them. Her Tsum Tsum heads are so perfect and pearly. It says, a piece of Korea, the rose ice cream of Myeongdong. And look, it's a rose ice cream, and it's so cute. I've actually never had the rose ice cream in Korea, but I know that a lot of people love it. This is so adorable. It says, out of all my buddies, I know you'd appreciate the bulb plant. And what she sent me was a bulb story with a sunflower on it. And I just love sunflowers because they're so happy. I don't even think she knew that I like sunflowers, but this is so cute. And then she gave me a little stand that comes with. And this is so adorable. Ah. And then the last thing in this box. Oh my god. So she sent me a galaxy key. And this is so cool. I think these like key puzzles are so cool and the fact that she makes it like galaxy themed on the inside it makes it so adorable. Box number five. This says trouble set one. Clear kit, resin glaze, clear bubba, blueberry flipper, strawberry porgy, cheesecake boba, your first requested ombre boba which failed. I thought you'd appreciate the beauty of clear resin. And oh my goodness, these are so tiny. For some reason, every time I see her pictures, they seem so much larger than they actually are. They're so cute. Oh my God. I think actually, I really do like the clear ones. They're so beautiful. 
And this one is super cute too. So the funny story about the ombre one is that she asked me she, like if I wanted a custom chubble and I was like sure. And then I said, can you get me an ombre one where it gradients from light to dark? And then she got so angry with me because she said it was so difficult. And it's so cute. You see like the three layers as it gets from darker to lighter. Box number six. Oh, and there's more chubbles. So it's this chubble set number two. There's the Weary Bear Bears chubbles, Totoro chubble, Luna chubble, my first design and favorite glitter porgy chubble. I feel like the Halloween and Christmas chubbles were so much cuter. So next season, I'll be milling you some. And okay, her Totoro chubble is so adorable. I just love it. And then, oh my God, Wee Bear Bears. So I think it's Grizz, Panda, and Ice Bear. They're so cute. Ah, oh, they're so perfect. And then she got me these. This is Luna. And then here is the Glittery Porgy. And the Glittery Porgy is so pretty. It uses like the holographic, um, what is it, cellophane? And it just glistens in the light. I'm gonna have like a crazy trouble collection. Number seven. Oh, here's my favorite sweetheart trouble for my dearest friend. Oh, that's so cute. Ooh. Oh, it's an ice cream cone shovel. And a nice organza bag too. Look at that. Oh, it must be Valentine's Day themed because it has little hearts and then like those sprinkles on top. It's so cute. Oh man, this one is so adorable too. So this is number eight and nine. Nine is inside of number eight. It reminds me of that math joke, like, why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. Oh, oh wait. This is one of her paint, like her, it's her like stained glass boxes. Oh, this is so cool. I think this is supposed to be a stitch bunny in her stained glass style. And she like paints it and puts resin over it. Oh, wow. And look at that. There's even like glittery star detail to it. I was working on some stained glass paintings and I redesigned your stitch bunnies as a lid design. The colors look amazing in the sunlight. Oh, they look amazing in my artificial light, too. What's in here? So... I got some Pokemon washi tape, so I split some for you. If you'd like more, let me know. I have plenty. Oh! These cards are really cool, too. It's, this one's like Alice, and this is some bunny girl. And the Pokemon washi tape are so adorable. And then what's in this one? Ooh. Oh my god, I think these are Mew Draw stickers. So since around Christmas time, I've been buying stickers, and whenever I see Cyndaquil, I always add them to my cart. They're from Mew Draws and May Shall Win. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Oh, look how derpy those Cyndaquil are. They're so cute. These ones are like more up to scale, and then these are the Mew Draw ones. So Cyndaquil is like one of my favorite Pokemon because it's so cute, and she got me all these stickers. Thank you. So this is number 10 and so big. It says open it. Looks like a Pokemon themed camera. Like, 
this looks like a Pokemon, I don't know, it's Pokemon colors, so like red and black and white, and it looks like a giant camera. It looks like, it also looks like an album. Okay, there's a note that says, Alex, I love how you showcase your own and the works of your crafty friends on displays, like your Scrabble shelf. I hope you will fill this album with memories as well. Oh, it is a, like a picture memory, like a picture album. Oh, and that's so cute. So I can make this into like a scrap. Dang, that's so awesome. She's like sending me like things beyond <laughs> resin and clay. I can definitely like probably fill this in with all like the notes I get from all my like trades and friends. Thank you so much. I love this. Okay, this is like the second to last thing, but it's the largest. It's number 11, which is the last one in her set. And I could already tell it's a clock. But let's open this. So it's an IKEA clock that she customized. And the note it says this is the biggest piece. I finished this in December, and the fact that it's April, almost May, just blows my mind. It's June now. I hope this is a useful addition to your new dorm apartment. As you can tell, there are some of your top Pokemons you mentioned. A Pokeball trainer, a Pokeball and trainer Alex. I hope you really enjoy this piece. Love clock, Amy. And oh my god, it's so cute. So it actually does have like all my favorite Pokemon. So I think we like listed each other's favorite Pokemon uh, like a while ago. And so there's a Pokeball and there's a little trainer me. And then she pretty much made all my favorite Pokemons. I love Shelter, Wigglytuff, Fampy, Wormful, the cute little worm, Dragonair, um, what's its face? Swadloon. Swadloon. I don't, I don't remember, like, past the fifth, fourth generation, so I always have trouble remembering their names. But Swadloon, Heracross, Totodile, Flareon, and Cyndaquil. And I think I just have to put in a battery for it to work. Oh my god, this is so cute. I love it. And I love how the hands are like black and red. I, I, I mean, I think they might be in general, but it just feels like it matches the theme of Pokemon. Thank you so much. This is the coolest clock ever. And then she sent me this bag of findings saying that you can never have too many findings. I think I have a lot of findings. I'll show you in a future video one day. But, so she sent me a bunch of jump rings, which is, I actually don't have these size jump rings. And then she sent me pin backings. So this is everything I got from Amy, and everything is so big and so much that I can't even fit into one camera frame without like zooming out completely. And oh my god, she sent me so much, and she packaged it beautifully, and I just, I need to step up my crafting game because... This was just so well thought up and well planned that it just puts my package to shame and I just, I need to start working on our next trade package soon because I don't know if I can beat this, but I will definitely try. I just love the clock she gave me and the box is super adorable and I probably have to say that this Chubble is the cutest little thing ever and I'm just so thankful to have an awesome friend like you and Let's continue to talk, especially with healthcare careers, because we're going down pretty much the same road. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget to check out her package opening video, which if she uploaded before me, I'll be linking the video below. If she uploads after me, I'll just update it later. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye, guys!